Scholars, this is Miss C, and guess what time it is? It's reading time. We are going to be practicing our fluency throughout this lesson. Materials. So go ahead and put your thinking cap on. Ready? We have two new learning targets for today. Please follow along with me as I read them. Our first learning target says, I can identify the correct homophone, knows or knows, based on meaning and context. The second learning target says, I can read a text fluently, smoothly, with expression and meaning, rereading and self-correcting when necessary. Transition song. Can you tell the difference, a difference, a difference? Can you tell the difference when two words sound the same? Word work. I'm going to read a sentence out loud. There are two words in the sentence that sound exactly the same. Listen carefully for those words. No one knows why he always has a runny nose. Hmm, what words did you hear that sound exactly the same? If you guessed nose and nose, you were right. You may remember that words like these are called homophones. Homophones have the same sound but different spelling. What does this nose mean? When we see nose, K-N-O-W-S, it tells us that someone does know something. What does this nose mean? Nose spelled N-O-S-E talks about a body part on our face that helps us smell. Go ahead and point to your nose. As you can see, we have our nose right here on our face. Let's take a look at a sentence to see which nose belongs in each of the blanks. Here's our sentence. Here's our sentence. My sister has an itchy blank Jim blank how to multiply numbers well. Hmm, can you help me figure out which word belongs in each blank? Let's take a look at the first blank. The first blank seems to need the word for a body part on our face. Which nose fits best there? If we are talking about a body part on our face, we know it should be spelled N-O-S-E, nose. Let's take a look at the second blank. This next blank talks about the fact that Jim understands or can multiply. Which nose fits best in the second blank? If you said K-N-O-W-S, you were correct. Let's read the sentence again together and practice our fluency. Here we go. My sister has an itchy nose. Jim knows how to multiply numbers well. Great work working on these homophones. Transition song. Can you read this fluently, smoothly, with expression, please? Can you read this smoothly, with expression and with meaning? Fluency. Now, we will practice reading with fluency in our decodable reader called Recycle. Don't forget to make sure that you're reading smoothly, with expression and with meaning, and at just the right speed. Here we go. What does it mean? Many materials that we use every day, like plastic and metal,
can be used again. When these materials are recycled, they are used again instead of being thrown away. Materials can be recycled for the same purpose. For example, imagine that you grew four inches over the summer. Now, your bicycle is too small for you. You can recycle the bicycle by giving it to your little sister instead of throwing it away. It would be used for the same purpose. Materials can also be recycled for a different purpose. Instead of throwing out food scraps, you can use them for plant food. This process recycles your food scraps for a different purpose, to grow plants in your home garden or your local community garden. Why should you do it? A typical person throws away 1.5 tons of solid waste per year. And did you know that Americans throw away enough plastic bottles each year to circle the world four times? That's a lot of trash. When you recycle, you reduce the trash. Also, making these materials uses up a lot of water and puts chemicals in the air. So, Recycling helps to save water and keep the air clean too. What can you do? First, you should know what can be recycled. Paper, plastics, glass, metal, textiles, batteries, food, and electrical equipment. Then, separate these materials from your trash. The last step is to find out where these things can be recycled. Maybe your community has a local recycling program and will pick up some of these items. Or you might not, ah, I'm sorry, not or. Or you might need to find a place to take them. We can all work together to recycle. Closing Reflection. Which aspect of fluency do you want to work on? Do you want to improve on reading smoothly, with expression and meaning, or at just the right speed? Keep up the great work practicing your fluency. Don't forget to read for at least 20 minutes every single day. That is how we improve with our reading and make sure you recycle. Keep up the great work and I can't wait to see you next time.